let's take a look at the TikTok interface. That way we can understand where we're navigating around. I trust you can go download and install TikTok on your own that you won't need any help with going to the app store and getting the app actually on your phone. Once you've got started on TikTok and you sign into the app, you will notice this is the first screen you see. You will see, since you're not following anyone right away, you'll see this For You page up here. And the For You page is the organic discovery place. It's like the news feed on TikTok where you see videos from people you aren't following. Right now, there's so much room in the For You page that every video you do will go out on the For You page to people that aren't following you. And that's why it's really a magical time on TikTok. When you start following people and people follow you, then you'll be able to browse people that are on your following page as here, Michael Graydon Media, one of the partners in my partner program, I got him to join TikTok and now he's making three videos a day on TikTok to capitalize on that organic reach every time. You can see the basic format is you've got the vertical video here. Now you can do square videos and you can do horizontal videos even. However, I have not seen very many of those videos do well. It's almost all vertical videos that do well. Thus, you want to do videos directly like this on your phone, not using videos from somewhere else in most cases. Let's take a look at each different element. Obviously, you've got the basic interface here. Then at the top, it shows you whether you're looking at the following page or the For You page. Then on the bottom, you've got the basic navigation. You've got your home button, and this is the home screen that we're on right now. It either has following or for you. I imagine they'll add some third thing to this eventually, but for now, this is what it's got. Then there's the discover button. When you use the discover button, what you can do, you can click on discover and you can start searching around by various hashtags and discover the kind of videos you might want to watch it's the search function. You click on discover and you can search around and try and find specific videos. When you click the plus button here, this is where you will actually film your own video and therefore that's one of the main buttons you will use. Next to that is the inbox and that's where you can see all the activity. It's awesome because currently on the inbox, when you check on your inbox, it shows you exactly who liked your video, it shows you who followed you, you can even see who's viewed your profile and you can see comments from right there. The inbox, when you're getting started, is where you get excited and see what kind of engagement you're getting. Then on the bottom right, we've got the me, this is where you go to your profile and view your own videos. When we look on the up and down interface, so what I showed you, what I just talked about was the back and forth on the bottom. Now we've got the interface on the side over here. On the top of the side, on the top of the right side, you've got the profile. In this case, this is Michael Graydon Media's profile. When you click on that, you can then go over and look at all the videos on his profile. What below that you've got the heart button when you like a video you click on the heart button and that will add your like to it below that you've got the comments and when you click on that you'll be able to comment and see the other comments below that is the share button the share button allows you to send this as a message or share it in whatever way you want to finally on the bottom right is a feature it's got a little record spinning this is the music or the audio and where it came from. If you're just making your own videos without using any other audio, this will be your audio. However, one of the unique features about TikTok is the ability to easily use someone else's audio and then put that on your video. If you do that, when you click on that record spinning in the bottom, it will take you to the original audio or whoever the a copyright holder is. For example, a lot of the videos on TikTok are people who've taken a song and made a little quick 15 second clip of it. If you enjoy watching 
all the videos from that particular song. What's awesome is you can just click on that record and then you can watch all the videos with that particular audio file. I've had a lot of fun doing that and this is how a lot of videos seem to go viral as people do little dances or little stunts in relation to the exact same song. Then TikTok has some kind of algorithm that realizes, hey, if you liked that 15th water pouring or challenge where people are basically taking like a two liter of coke and getting a cup and standing in front of their family and pouring it all over the ground and seeing what happens with that whatever song that goes to that in the background then TikTok realizes oh you liked five of those videos before when you're on the for you page TikTok will then show you lots more of those videos by now, you've got a basic idea of the interface on TikTok. I've walked you through each part of the home screen. The next essential thing you need to be able to do from here is to create your own video using the plus button. Therefore, uh, that said, I recommend watch some other videos on TikTok see what kinds of things other people are creating, or if you just want to get your first video out there right away, hit that plus button and make a video.